Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm starting a new series. This is going to be all the mods for, and I'm certainly not the first person to be doing this, um, <clears throat> but it's the new latest version at this time, which is 0 0.3.0. So I'm going to create this, a new world. I've called it World, because I always call my worlds World. <laughs> and I've got some options. And so I've created, I put a seed in here and I've allowed cheats on. So let's create the world and see what happens. I've played this um, pack in some test worlds, so I know what I'm basically doing, and it's being upgraded all the time, um, and they've been added in Britannia in the last couple of releases. So we'll see how it's a different game than normal when you're playing this as sort of um, Minecraft 112 or something like this. The one, the Minecraft 114 stuff is quite different. You play it differently too. The villager business is very important especially in this pack um, because it allows you to get sort of very powerful tools and armor and weapons which help the gameplay of course so any second now we shall join the world and have a brand new world so of course and first thing we're going to do is I'm going to set a waypoint. Oh, wrong button. I think, yes, I think the the, the map's got slightly different keys. If I press um, Y and then I'll put on the waypoints and I'll just create a new one. There are conflicts with the buttons and this stuff. Normally B would add one. So we'll, we'll create this one here as World Spawn. So we know where we're coming from and I'll change the colour here. So we'll allow this to be um, <clears throat> probably grey. Let's confirm that one. Done. Back to the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off over here and I'm going to build, uh, well there's some trees over here of course. Some which look a bit strange. <laughs> this one's got no bottom. <laughs> really weird. In fact this is cherry wood. Now cherry wood's quite useful it, it makes normal chests um, in the Minecraft wood doesn't always make normal chests it actually makes oak chests which is don't always work in all recipes of course the first thing you need of course in Minecraft is some wood and that should give us a, at least one or two saplings back again I can pick up the bits and you'll see already there's some Britannia flowers in here I'm not sure I'm going to play too much Britannia, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Plant that back up again, and then we go over here. I just picked up something else as well, and some here are some corn flowers. So what I should find over here is I should find a little cave, and I'm going to use this as the as the base. So the first one there's a fish in here as well. <laughs> So we're going to first of all craft up a, a crafting table, of course. And we're also going to make a chest. I'm just having a think. Actually, I probably need to make some sticks because I didn't actually get any sticks when I did that uh, that tree, broke the tree. Sometimes you do. Actually, quite often you do. So let's make up a quick uh, wooden pickaxe which we'll get rid of very st almost straight away to actually get and break into here like this and I think I'm going to start on this side no in the middle and I'm just going to go back a little bit because this is actually yeah. behind me is a sort of a cliff in fact it might be a good idea to put down a piece of cobblestone into this place here now of course as soon as you've got four pieces of cobblestone we can make a, a stone pickaxe well I said four but I really meant three which will go a lot faster so we'll just dig our way back a bit here so we've got a little bit of space and straight away I've hit some um, some copper ore now this mod pack has got ore excavation in it now also excavation is going to have to set this up straight away I think controls so I thought I'd actually set them up but I haven't. Now, or excavation probably defaults to this key here, which is the um, 
unbound key it doesn't exist as far as I can see so I'm going to click it and I'm going to set, set that to left hold this one here the shape edit I'm going to change to um, shift and B I think and this one's going to be shift and V it says these are conflicting because they're actually conflicting with iron jetpacks so I'll click done on that one and back to the game and so we can actually or excavate all of this out we're just holding down the the alt key now and left clicking this you'll see it's then mined up all of that copper ore in here so we've already got some ore it looks quite dark so we're gonna have to make i'm gonna have to take this way back back again i haven't got enough wood i don't think or maybe we have this coal here as well which is a good resource but while we can we'll just go and get some more some more wood some more cherry trees over here We have different coloured chickens in Minecraft 1.4. And of course, because I've got our excavation in there, I could have done or excavated this cherry tree, which would have been a lot more sensible. But it's actually a lot faster to do it that way. But of course, you do take um, food penalties by doing this. Now, on here, we should have a minimap. Now, where's the minimap gone to? It should be on. Minimap on. I can't see it. Minimap size is auto. Okay, back point. Now, what button did I press to turn the minimap off? I'm not sure. That's you to show me that one. Oh, it's here on the left hand side. It's moved. Okay, so what you can see here is you get there's a mob somewhere. It's probably right down below me. And maybe it's not a mob actually. It might be something that's dropped. We shall have a look. Oh, yes, there we are. Now, what the first thing I do with this. Oh, I have been doing it's coming along here and then changing the entity radar so you'll see that hostile mobs are set to uh, yellow the same color as friendly mobs well don't like that <laughs> so I'm going to change these to aqua for the items and yellow for the friendly mobs and everybody else is white just confirm that and back so now when we look at the map here we can see if anything's dropped you can find it easily so now we've got a bit more wood oops wrong place And we're going to come back in here and I think what we should be able to do fairly quickly is we've got only six pieces of cobblestone at the moment so let's break away along here a bit further and then start to go down because obviously Minecraft you need to mine to do very much so I think this space might not be big enough we shall see but we're going to make it put down some the um, crafting table and we're gonna you can't do much with the crafting table we're gonna make a door and we're gonna let's take these let's just make a door in fact you always get three don't you so I've got some cherry wood door so let's put this on the outside so mobs don't come and get us it actually also prevents oops, that's quite good actually see through that one quite nicely it also prevents um, wandering traders coming into your base because they actually come in there can be a bit of a nuisance let's get another one of those and we'll make a chest to put the stuff in like that and I will put this where I'm going to put it it doesn't really matter very much for the time being I'm going to have to put it here oops wrong one a door I need the chest let's put the chest down this is actually a chest it might not be the best thing to use for this particular space because you can open it let's put some of the stuff in here we'll also make a, a furnace that's probably the next thing to do I guess so we can actually cook up some charcoal so we can get some torches let's put that down here So first thing we can do is cut one piece of charcoal with two sticks. Each stick will cook half an item. <clears throat> so from that we should get one piece of charcoal, which we can then use to cook the other eight of these. I want two out of it, so I'm using the mouse button to scroll out of that like that. And then we can 
we should have some enough to make some torches so let's make some torches first of all we need some planks and some sticks now we've got our first piece of charcoal we can make our first set of torches now this is not the best torches by the way and this pack was a really good torch so I'm not going to go down here and I'm going to go and dig my way down until I get towards um, low levels now you should be able to see on the mini map here yes you can see it it's actually in the wrong position I'm not sure how to move it a second I'll be back in a second see if I can move this mini map across to the other side right it's actually very easy you press y on the keyboard and then you've got here um, edit mode here and then you can choose a preset and we can say top right and then it moves there confirm that and then back so now the mini maps on on the top right hand side so as i go down what we should see um is some interesting feet interesting features now it's gone very black why <laughs> let's just put a torch in there has it become because it's night time no nope. it's became very black weird so what i'm going to do is keep going down here now we've got another one um an overlay so if i press f4 is the standard one here you can see that the light level overlay is showing up here and you'll see that this is actually too bright too dark so we will put a torch on this side over here and maybe i'm going to mine up this well first of all we need some cobblestone to do that So I shall carry on mining. So what I'm actually intending to do here, this will be tin. Tin oh yes, let's alt, let's I'll press down the alt key and mine that up. That mined up quite a bit. There's actually a space for a mob to spawn there, but it doesn't matter because it's right. The rest of them they can't spawn. Maybe baby zombies, but we'll live with baby zombies. And the light these light levels are very useful. So that says two. Now that's a good place to stick a torch down because at two it should allow yeah this is now nine here i think that's a good level to put your torches down to get sort of maximum use of your torches i haven't got that many torches in here but we'll keep going down and down In fact, this one is actually one. So let's put the let's put the torch there and see if we've actually lit up everything properly. Yeah, that's right. That's eight. Now I've run out of torches, so I'm going to have to get some more torches. But now I've got plenty of cobblestone, so I can easily mine up all of this. Um, a coal ore here. My oh, door didn't fall off. Good. Now you see what he's done, of course, it's, it's moved the water about. So let's put the cobblestone down here and then fill this in. Now it's coming towards night time. Let's put that one down there. But that will give us a start in order to carry on with the coal, using the coal for torches. So we've got eight pieces of coal and that's, so that's plenty for the time being. And we'll put these ores in here like this now it's got a nice feature this i think this is a quiet feature if you press if you look on these arrows here they will uh, insert everything so if you click this button here it inserts everything into here but for example if i take i've got one of these items in here and then one in my in here if i press shift it goes yellow and i can shift it click those into that space and it'll move everything it doesn't move the hot bar stuff in so for example if this coals in my hot bar and I press shift it doesn't move it in in fact it would only move in the pickaxe so we want the coal we probably don't need these flowers with us so we can get rid of those and we've got this wooden pick as a backup I can use that for burning items I'm not sure what the, let's look at the uses of this it smelts one item but that's probably not enough since it's broken a bit it'll probably only do less than one item so let's keep going down here I 
one of the useful things to get, of course, would be a clock. <laughs> so when we're down down in the mines, we can actually know when it's daytime or nighttime. So I shall carry on doing this for a few minutes or two until I get down to the bottom, and then I'll see you again. Well, here's my first find on my way down here. I found some oil in a cave. Uh, I don't want to explore caves at the moment because I'm not really that well protected. So I'll just block it off. Um, I'll know where it is because it's got this one piece of cobblestone there. And I'll carry on going down here. We've, now we've got some candy ore from rock candy. I'm not quite sure about that one. And then here we've got some prosperity ore. I will leave the prosperity ore for the time being. But that means we've got mystical agriculture in the pack. Now that's actually pretty good because these these chunk these can be quite large, the prosperity ore. You see, we, and I've already hit a hit a cave down here. In fact, a rather large cave system by the looks of it. Well, I don't want to go and do cave exploring just yet, but there is some gold down there. I can see some gold. Let's just um, press F4 and turn it off. So now that would be useful. Because one of the things I'd like to start with at the very beginning of the of the game is to do some um, um, AFK fishing, and the reason we'll do AFK fishing is because of one of the mods in the pack. So let's have a quick look at um, that particular mod I'm talking about, which is the Aqua something or other. So look, so I can do at this one. So it's Aquaculture, aquaculture 2 and it gives you a lot of different things um, and it gives you these armor chest blades, Neptune chest blades and bows, in fact it gives you a whole set of weapons, if you look at this this is 3 and I think that's equivalent to diamond let's have a look so a diamond helmet is 3 with 2 so this is basically diamond armor now Diamonds in this pack are very rare because of all the different mineral, minerals you've got in here. And when you do find diamonds, there are fairly small um, groups of them, maybe just one or two. Ah, here we got some iron ore, good. Now I want the iron ore, but because we're just above a cave, I'm not going to uh, ore excavate it out for the time being. What level are we at them now? I think it's a bit dark, let's press it four. Let's put down a torch here on this prosperity or see what we've got. And it looks like I'm coming up to a still near a cave and some lava. So I want to be careful, but I definitely want as much of this as we can get. Oh, good. So it didn't go out that far. So now we can actually or excavate this bit out of here. So we've now got some some ores. I'm not sure if we've gone past that cave yet. It looks like we might have done. So if we have no we haven't yet. So we'll be safe. Special sorry than safe. <laughs> Better than safe than sorry I mean. Right. So we carry on across here. What level am I at now? 25. Now I can hear lava below, let's have a look. Right, we're okay for the time being, go down here. Put a torch down when it gets to two. That should be fine. Eight is the still safe, so we'll carry on going down. I want to get to around about 12. And here we've got some, what's we got this one, is it tin ore? Actually I've already found some tin ore, let's see if we can mine this all up, which we can. Ah, now here's the other interesting ore here, this one. Let's see if I can do it, it, oh diamond level pickaxe. Right, I can't do that yet, but we can go make an iron pickaxe and we'll do that. And one thing that we're doing a sensible to do straight away is to make some steps and then put steps up here because you go up a lot faster and you use a lot less food as well because at the moment I haven't got any food 
I'll have to go and kill a few of those chickens I saw walking around when we came in here. Now, what it has got in the pack that's really good is um, how many cook seven? That's interesting. Must have miscounted. What it has got in the pack is um, silent mechanisms. I think it's called. this pack silent mechanisms or silence mechanisms which gives you some very early good early game or doubling so the one we're looking for would be the basic ones so let's have a look at this one in fact I should really remove the other other mods from here shouldn't I so we have a basic alloy smelter and a basic crusher so the basic crusher requires bronze um, and aluminium now bronze is basically tin and copper and aluminium we haven't yet found and this one here is copper and tin ingots so we've got our tin copper and tin it also requires some bricks that's no big deal and here we've got some stone and some glass um, and an iron ingot so we can do this one fairly quickly and we can also do the basic crusher fairly quickly once we've got that i think there's nothing special and the last one of those would we would want from that would be a generator and it has a generator as well, a coal-fired generator. So we've got uh, this one. And this one is basically redstone alloy. So we need to get some redstone before we can make this one. That's four redstone to one iron. And I don't think, having said that, there is. I think there is a way to generate power to lower cost than that one, uh, which is actually with solar panels. You can make a basic solar panel. Where are they? I can't see them for trying. Here we go. We can make a tier one solar panel. It doesn't generate much power, one FE per tick. And it's all it is is basically some mirrors, which is glass and iron, one redstone, and some planks. It's fairly cheap. Now, what time of day is it? Looks like it's okay. Let's go outside here, turn off the markers and go and get those other things that we actually need to do this I don't know where they are there's plenty of sand around here plenty of sand in the water so let's just let's just Ooh. <laughs> that was fairly fast that was just um oh, some more over here and there's plenty of clay here as well so i'm just going to or excavate that up with a uh, with an empty hand so we should have enough to start those two machines so we'll look, what have we got two stacks of oh, pretty good sand and one and a half stacks of clay that'll be fine so we'll go back now and we'll probably while it's while it's still daytime we can plant some more trees we've still got some saplings actually I'm got them with me but we'll take some of these um birchwood saplings over here as well and we got some cows that's good we've got some food and leather did that not give me a single quite often birches don't drop any any saplings See, this time I did get some sticks and I have now got some birch saplings. So I'll plant, I've got two birch, no, I've got three birch saplings. I'll plant those. I'm sure we're we'll going to plant those over here somewhere. Let's just do it around about here. So they're not too far away from the base. So we've got a bit of wood to start with. And I'm also going to get those couple of chickens while I'm here. We more than likely find some seeds in here because they get quite a lot of seeds quite quickly. I've got two seeds, so I can attract two chick or oh, three seeds. We'll attract three chickens and we'll breed them up a bit. There's one over here. Where's the other one? Oh. 
There's one over here too. Right, you come with me and I'll get you uh, the other one. <laughs> that was too fast. Right, one new chicken, and we'll just get the. I haven't got an axe for me, I'll just try it with a. This, this one will do. Good. So now we've got our bits and pieces and kept the number of population chickens up. <laughs> right, so we have some food. So the next thing we're going to do, now I've got a bit more wood, is we can carry on in the mines going across. And we've got the stuff that we need to... Yeah, I need basically just wood to get this. It was wood to get the, f the fuel for the furnace. So now how much have we got in here? We've got four oak logs and 13 birch. So we'll put the birch in here. We'll get some more charcoal from those. And we want to start doing the other bits and pieces. So let's make a another furnace. In fact, while I'm here, let's just shift click these into here. Get rid of anything else which I had, which was tin or I don't... I do need tin or zinc. I'm not sure what zinc's going to be used for, but it's probably got some plans on it. We've also got some hemp seeds and some aubergine seeds, wheat seeds and inferium essence. And we've got a Plantec 2. Where did that come from? Plantec 2 manual. Now, I'm not going to do Plantec 2. And the reason I'm not going to do Plantec 2, it's too hard. <laughs> um, the reason it's Plantec... The reason it's too hard, let's have a look at this one. A basic basic um, seed that we need would be coal. So let's have a look at Plantec to coal seeds, plastic pellets rather. Here we are, coal seeds. Now, if you click this, it tells you what you need. So you need nether wart seeds. Okay, that's a bit difficult, not too bad. But you also need chorus seeds. So you've got to go through, the, you've got to be through the end in order to get coal seeds. Which strikes me as being a bit over the top. In the wrong way because if you if you actually have a look for coal seeds um from let's have a look mystical agriculture now i should be able to see those as well here we go coal seeds just tier two so basically that's just prudentium essence so four of those plus four coal will give you a coal seed uh, and the output from the coal seeds if you look for the uses of that one actually reprocessing doesn't you get this coal essence and the uses of coal essence you can make 12 coal with just eight coal essence so it's pretty good return um it does really make plantic a bit a bit useless so that's what we got here we've got so we've got our eight of these now we do need some iron i have got the iron i've got 10 iron i think that's going to be enough i should want to get rid get that down to eight don't I to maximize the output of these and in here we've got five tin and five copper we've got zinc and oh, we've got other types of tin we've got tin from mystical world and we've got tin from silent mechanisms um we can basically mix those two together so that's no big deal i want to get rid of these and here's my food and i don't need this in the way We've also got some quite good storage mechanisms in this. We've got um, storage drawers and we've got um, barrels as well. Now, barrels are quite good. I want to leave this up here. So we've got these barrels, standard Minecraft barrels, which is basically six, slightly cheaper than it's slightly cheaper. No, it's slightly more expensive for one and slightly cheaper for, for two in terms of wood. But then you can upgrade these. So you've got these wooden upgrades in here. So for example, the next one up you could use copper. So two or well, some some planks and two ingots will give you a copper upgrade. So you can upgrade a wooden one to copper. In fact you can up upgrade them all as you can see here. The wooden ones go up to obsidian, diamond gold iron so iron would be this one 
So, is that right? So you need a, oh, that silver one I'm speaking. So basically an iron upgrade is this. And a gold upgrade from iron is, let's have a look. I think this is iron, iron to gold, yes. Basically the same thing. But you actually, the quicker to make gold barrels would be one wooden barrel with four ingots of iron and four, so you'd actually save in this case. But that's not so important. So I've now got eight pieces of iron. Now we need to do um, some sand. How much sand do we need? Probably need about 16, I guess. Let's just do half of those. And we also need some bricks. And the amount of bricks that we needed was actually 16, I think, is a good start. So let's go back to sunlight mechanisms and have a look at what they need for that stuff. The coal generator was slightly more expensive. Oh, we can do... Actually, there's two recipes for coal and generator. Okay, good. So cobblestone, refined iron, four ingots of iron. Oops, missed. Try again. That's copper, that's no big deal. So a smooth stone, iron and glass. So we need three machines. We need um, 12 glass for that one. Okay, we can do this, no big deal at all. Also, refined iron is just iron that's been processed twice. Smooth stone is stone which has been, or cobblestone which has been processed twice through the furnace. And now it's raining and dark, and I can see a mob, a zombie over there somewhere. I should really go and find some sheep. There aren't the sheep aren't too far away from this, this either. So while that's going on here takes a few minutes let's go down and let's make another furnace that would be a sensible thing to do wouldn't it i was going to make one anyway now i click that and I moved it back into my inventory so let's put the furnace down here because we need some cobblestone and we need some glass so let's put it in there let's put it in this is processing glass at the moment we need some stone I think we don't need too much stone let's get eight of those into there which will take a few seconds how are we doing over here Nearly finished, just got three to go. Um, I'm just wondering what's next that we need to process for this. We've got glass, oh, bricks, of course, we need some bricks. I think we needed two sets of bricks for the furnace or for the coal generator. Nope, not in here. It must have been the alloy smelter because we need the basic crusher which requires alloy, bronze alloy, but the alloy smelter doesn't. Basic alloy smelter these bricks tin copper a frame that's and some bricks so we can get the bricks done next eight will be two sets of bricks and you get xp from there that's, did i do i'm just wondering why this burning down didn't burn out completely i was expecting to burn out completely So we need some copper, don't we? So we need some copper and some tin. I think we need three copper. And three tin. I'm not let's double check that while while everything's cooking up. So we need three tin and three copper to make the alloy smelter. I might not have enough, I might have to go and find some more. I shall come back when I've got everything we need. See you in a few seconds. I still haven't got enough. Need. I do need some aluminium as well. But one thing I am going to do is to make an iron pickaxe. And I'll show you why I'm going to make an iron pickaxe. Um, because I need to get these, these, this ore. It's in the way for a start. So I've made the advancement. It isn't an iron pick. 
isn't an iron pick, sorry. <laughs> Helps to be able to read. So here we go down here. I haven't gone any further yet. But what we are going to do is going to mine up this stuff. Now this is actually surprisingly good. It needs an it needs a diamond an iron pick to do it. So we get these fiery glass from Druidcraft shards, I suppose they are. Um I carry on doing this because I was not really want to use the pick for the the iron pit for just digging down, so we'll, we'll not do that. What level are we up to? I could hear an end one. There's definitely mobs around here. 17. Let's press F4. So here we are at level 3. Now, why are these so good? Let's go and have a look. You can actually turn these into torches. In fact, the only use for this, if you look for this, the uses of that, you can turn it into blocks and you can turn it into torches. So it's a, a little bit brighter than the regular torch and it's waterproof. And I'll show you what that means as well. Very good. So let's, you can also use it as a fuel by the looks of it. Let's maximize these out. Torch upgrade I've got. Sort of thing here. And we'll demonstrate this. I think I've got some ordinary torches with me too. It takes quite a lot of effort to get up here. In fact, what I want to do is to cook this chicken. It's a thunderstorm. We want to avoid thunderstorms <laughs> because they won't spawn in thunderstorms. So, what I wanted to do is to show you the difference between the two torches. Um, if I, yeah, I can do it here. If I put this torch down here, you can look at this light level here, it's 15. If I put down an ordinary torch here, if I can get back up to my base that is, you'll see the light level is 14. So it, it gives you one more, uh, or what you need less torches for this one. It's also waterproof, you can put it in the water. How about that? Now that's really good, because when you, quite often, in fact, well actually I'll leave that one there as it happens, Right, make sure the entrance is well lit for mobs not to spawn in the entrance here and we'll go down <coughs> so that's really useful so what I did want to do is to cook some chicken and I just need some wood I've sorted out my inventory a tiny weeny bit let's use some of this birch I want some planks I just turned all the planks I've got into all the sticks I've got into um, torches which I might do again anyway but what I want to do is I want to cook this chicken and come back. So I'll put two, actually I can put all of these in here and put one piece of chicken. I can also do something else. In fact, I probably will do something else. It might be more sensible to do it. Let's get that out of there. You can craft these into mini coals. So you get eight mini coal. So one mini coal basically crafts one item. Uh, smelts one item. So you should get... It should just use one to do this. Like that. So we've got our roast chicken. Well, I think that's all I've got time for this episode. So before next time, I'm going to carry on mining my way down here. Uh, if anything interesting happens, I will stop. But I'm looking for some iron. I need some more copper. My copper's higher up than iron and aluminium so until next time i wish you all the best bye for now